Back in 2020-21, we published an article on the topic email marketing agency pricing. Since then, a lot of people, even big corporations like PepsiCo, H&M, visited our website and consumed that information to figure out how much they need to pay for email marketing services to an agency or to a person who will work uh, for them internally. Now it's a time to update that article with a video with more information and we will be constantly making changes to that blog post. But today I would like to discuss five different pricing models for email marketing agency and how they work. So the five pricing models are the first one, you will pay email marketing agency or a freelancer per hour. This is the least common option. Second one, you will pay it per project. You have a specific project in mind, you have a specific scope and they will do the project. It's popular for small agency and a freelancer, but not as common for developed agencies. Number three is a per email, but not on retainer basis. You just need three emails or five emails. Again, it's not very common for email marketing agencies to do those kind of projects. Per email retainer, so this is the most common where you have a specific number of emails per month and that agency needs to provide you those emails on monthly basis. And the last one, fifth one is a hybrid. So everything that I listed about, it can be combination of any of those and I'll explain you each deeper. So let's start per hour. So what's the pros, cons, and what's the definition of this? First of all, I want you to understand the hourly rate uh, of the specialist, email marketing specialist, copywriter, designers, it depends on the location. If you hire somebody from US, let's say from New York, the hourly rate will be much higher than you will hire somebody overseas. In general, this is like very generic rule of thumb is for small agencies, like who has maybe five, maximum 10 people, in their company or freelancer will charge around like between $40 to $100 per hour. This is the most common I see. You can go to Upwork or similar marketplaces and you can find and hire those people there. So if you want to work with a developed agency, they typically charge between $150 to $200 per hour. But remember, there's typically between four to five to six people on one team. So you don't pay only for one person, but you will pay for team and their time. Typically, email marketing teams are consist with somebody who's responsible for strategy and they typically manage the project. Uh, you will need a copywriter, you will need a designer, you will need some kind of technicians to set up uh, your email automations, campaigns, create segmentation inside of your ESP. And sometimes just to save you money, uh, agency might have assistant assigned to your project because they are their hourly rate is the lowest one. It will save you a lot of money if you want to do the hourly project. So next one, uh, the pricing model per project. So this is another package that uh, uh, agency might offer you. Develop agency sometimes might not even give you this kind of options. They might say we only work on retainer, uh, but smaller agencies and freelancers, they do offer this kind of service. And also it all depends on what kind of projects you need. So what I have on this slide is uh, prices for setting up your automations. This kind of engagement with agency or freelancer is good only when you understand what you need. So typically it's businesses who don't have any automations set up and they will hire a freelancer or agency to set up, to create the strategy, uh, to develop copy, design, set it up, everything in the, their ESP. This is the best to, for them to hire agency on project based. And here's my advice. If you decide to go with agency, and work with them on a project basis. Um, I strongly recommend for them to do the whole setup of all the automation and give you drag and drop campaign or template which you can modify it yourself or you have you can have somebody on your team who can just drop an image or uh, modify text and send out uh, campaigns internally and also as this um, 
agency to include in their project setup of your the most important segments okay so number three which is not common but it ha sometimes you will you might need this kind of service as well cost per email but not on a retainer basis so for example you might have some kind of request let's say you partner up with some big company and to present this to your audience and to the company you partner up with you want to have a nice well-developed crafted copy email design everything like everything looks perfect so you might contact the agency or freelancer and ask listen i want you to design a, like specific email but it's only one email i don't need anything else from you so in this case this is the highest amount you will pay per email uh but if you just need one you i mean you have to do what you have to do so in general it costs around like like five hundred dollars or more for freelancer or small uh, agency to develop you one email uh, for develop agency around like 750 to 1500 or even more it depends what kind of agency and again some agency might refuse you to do it we recently uh, did a project like that because one corporation with the revenue of 350 million a year they contacted us and they say listen you're doing a great job we have internal team of email marketers but we need um extra help because we're doing this kind of partnership and we need five emails from you so they paid more than our retainer but they paid us only for those five emails and why those emails are more expensive than retainers because agency need to do a lot of prep work to deliver one email or five emails but when they do retainer which i will explain in the next um next section uh but when they do retainer it's you know it, it spread the cost over the few months okay so the next one number four this is the most common engagement with email marketing agency it's retainer and they charge per email so how does it work they will have different email marketing packages and you can choose whatever you need sometimes you might need like five emails per month or you might need like 40 emails per month the price per email will depend on how many emails you you need more emails you need the lower cost per email will be so what is the cost per email so if, if you work with a small agency or freelancer uh, the cost might be even lower but typically it's around like $200 and probably top is like $400 if you pay more it's better even to switch for develop agency who experience they have big team they have a backup they have system and processes in place so develop agency charge between like 400 to like 950 or even like thousand dollars per email so if you need maybe like five emails they might charge you five emails per month they might even charge you like thousand dollars dollars per email so like around like five thousand dollars but if you need like 40 emails the more email you have the cost of email will go lower why because in addition to creating those emails there's a lot of like back-end work that needs to be done like reporting split testing meetings troubleshooting strategy and so forth want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you if that's the case let our team of email marketing experts show you how with our free email marketing audit we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts provide you with action plan and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today the last pricing model is like hybrid hybrid is good when you need email marketing help and you want to start working with agency or freelancer but you're not sure if they are good you do not want to sign six months or 12 months uh, contract so we can start from a, uh, like a small project it can be set up an automation or maybe few automation or even all automation set up those automations and then if you like the quality of their work after the project is done you can switch to retainer or if even you have way with a project you can negotiate and say listen i love your work how about we switch to retainer so this is also common in the in the industry from all uh pricing model i described number four is this is the most common the 
price per email. What does it mean price per email? So it's a number of emails. So if you want to send one campaign to your entire audience or to one person, it will count as the email. If you want to add additional email in your abandonment cart automation or your welcome automation, it's considered as a one email. So it's a unit you for which you are paying. In case you have any additional questions, you can leave them under this video below. If you're not subscribed to ch this channel, please subscribe because we're releasing this kind of videos every Thursday with email marketing strategy, industry insights, and tips how to help your business grow.